Fights and violence in the halls of a local middle school are closing the building and now forcing classes to go back to virtual learning. School administrators hoping that keeping kids apart will be able to make things safe enough for a future return to the classroom. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Dan Silk. An extraordinary step. Reynolds Middle School's temporary closing, moving to distance learning for the next two weeks after fights broke out in classes and the halls were disrupting learning. And that starts tomorrow. Elise Haas digging deeper. She went to the middle school today to find out what administrators are doing to address this issue. Elise. Jenny, it's crazy, but I will say first and foremost that this is not unique to Reynolds Middle School. We are hearing reports of this kind of fighting among students happening at school districts across our area, but it has gotten so bad here that the school officials felt like they had to close down in order to reset and recalibrate. So for the next couple of weeks, they are going to be taking that time off for a closure, going to that virtual learning, and it's going to be, yes, a time for the students to cool off, but also give teachers time to um, figure out what to take the next steps. The middle school is going to be developing social skills curriculums and team building and relationship building exercises for these students to work on when they return. The middle school will be adding safety protocols as well, like more adults and as hall monitors to keep a better eye out on students and their behavior. What we're doing is we're looking at at providing teachers with that uh, grade level reflection activities that they can work with the students uh, on uh, to be able to talk about uh, the environment and then to be able not only to talk about it, but then how to address it in a positive way um, so that we don't have the negative outbursts that are affecting uh, the education. And in a statement, the superintendent said in part, we realize the transition to short term distance learning for even a short time can be a hardship on our families. We apologize for any inconvenience this temporary transition may cause. And coming up tonight, Reynolds uh, School Board will be having a meeting. They're going to be talking about this issue and the district is also going to be proposing to them asking for more social and emotional resources for their students like counselors, mental health professionals and social workers. Reporting live in Fairview, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.